Duolingo English Test. Hello guys, if you have ever shown interest in various languages, then there's a high chance you must have heard about Duolingo. The same Duolingo launched an English language test in 2018. Nowadays, most of the universities are accepting Duolingo English test scores for admitting international students and as a result, it is gaining more popularity over IELTS and TOEFL among study abroad aspirants. The most important advantage of Duolingo test is that it can be attended from the comfort of your home without having to travel to an exam center. Duolingo is accepted by more than a thousand universities from all around the world. Come on, let's take a look at the advantages and aspects of Duolingo. Now, what are the advantages in taking a Duolingo test? Well, for starters, the test costs only $49, whereas the IELTS costs 13,250 rupees and TOEFL costs 180 dollars in India. So, at the cost of one IELTS or TOEFL exam, you can actually take several Duolingo tests. Along with such a reasonable rate, you'll also be saving the travel cost and the stress of communicating to the exam center right on time. For TOEFL, you can send your results to only four universities for free, and with IELTS, only five. After that, there's a fee of around $20 for each subsequent university. But Duolingo saves you from all such costs. The Duolingo test course can be sent to n number of colleges without having to pay an extra charges. Another advantage is that the test results are available within 48 hours after the exam, while it is available only after 11 days for IELTS and 5 to 11 days for computer-based TOEFL test and 13 days for paper-based TOEFL test. By opting for a Duolingo test, you don't have to go on a 10th trip while waiting for your results. And the total duration of the Duolingo test is just one hour. This is three times less than IELTS or TOEFL. Let's see the pattern of the Duolingo English test. The Duolingo test follows an unconventional format unlike the traditional IELTS and TOEFL. It does not consist of long questions. The test assesses your aptitude in the language on the basis of your intonation and knowledge of idioms. The skills tested are reading, listening, speaking and writing. Just as in TOEFL and IELTS, but the questions are distinctive from anything you have normally seen in an English language test. The following are some of the questions typically asked in a Duolingo test. Describing an image in writing or reading it aloud. Recording yourself saying a written sentence. Verbally answering a spoken question. Listening to spoken words and selecting the real ones. Reviewing written words and selecting the real ones. Completing missing letters from a text. Typing out a statement that you hear and responding and writing to a written question with a maximum of 500 words but are usually much shorter. The exam also includes a video interview where the students speak on their topic of choice for 1-3 to three minutes. Another important aspect of the exam is its duration. If you are a really proficient speaker, you can finish your exam in 45 minutes. But if you find the exam tough, then you will be given enough opportunities with questions you can manage as the test adapts itself according to your answers. Apart from the advantages of Duolingo that we had mentioned before, the major differences between Duolingo and TOEFL are that TOEFL has lengthy questions and passages, whereas Duolingo has comparatively briefer questions. Also, there are no separate sections in a Duolingo test to assess reading, writing, listening and speaking skills as in TOEFL. Another great advantage Duolingo offers over the IELTS is that it can be taken in one seating as opposed to two days testing period for IELTS. As mentioned before, instead of traditional item types tested by IELTS like MCQs, essay type questions and short answer questions, Duolingo's questions take on new formats. Also, while IELTS has two versions, academic and general, Duolingo has only a general test. Let's now look at how to prepare for Duolingo English test. Since Duolingo is a relatively new exam with an unconventional pattern, you would need to prepare for it in a slightly different manner. Read high quality blogs and articles such as those published in The Guardian, The New York Times and The Wall Street Journal. This will help you in developing your English proficiency. Listen to a lot of English podcasts covering various topics on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify and other such online streaming apps. Try conversing with native speakers. 
If you don't know anything personally, you can easily find partners online on Facebook groups. Take the free practice test on the Duolingo website. This will familiarize you with the actual exam pattern. You need to log into your account to access the practice questions. As said earlier, there are a lot of universities around the world that accept Duolingo test results from international students. In the USA, universities such as Harvard University, Auburn University, Arizona State University, Northeastern University, San Diego State University, etc. accept these test results. Even universities such as Monash College, Australian National University, Melbourne Institute of Technology from Australia, Concordia University, Memorial University, Lakehead University, University of Alberta from Canada, University of Otago, Massey University from New Zealand, Cardiff University, University of Aberdeen from UK, and Webster University from Switzerland are some of the most prestigious universities all around the world that accept the Duolingo English language test scores for graduate admissions. So yes, the Duolingo test is quite beneficial for international students, especially during current times. It is a cost and time effective and universally accepted test which will help you to achieve your dream of studying abroad. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Please subscribe to Gyandan for more such videos and tap the bell icon to get all the notifications from Gyandan channel. Thank you.